So you want to install Open Fortress for Windows, okay. And you know, you're kind of having some trouble running the install guide itself. So today, I'm going to teach you, using a video, and using this install guide, how to install Open Fortress. It's, it's honestly not that hard. I promise you. So to start off, you're going to want to download Tortoise SVN. So you're going to click that button there, and it's going to take you to the website. Now you're going to get the correct executable based on what bit your operating system is. That's either going to be 32 or 64. And once you figure it out, I would recommend getting the 1.10.5 version of Tortoise SVN, as I just tried running the 1.14 as an update, and it broke my shit. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on it, it'll take you to its project page, and you wait, and it's going to be like, alright, I'm going to install this or download this now. But not for me, because I already have it right there. As you can see, it's nice, right? So, you're going to double click the icon and you're going to run through the installation as, as normal as you would. So now we're going to go back to the Open Fortress thing. That fucking thing. Going back to the Open Fortress .fun website. So now here it's telling you to go to your Source Mods folder. Well, your Source Mods folder is located where your Steam executable is at. So, for example, most people will have it in their C drive, Program Files x86, and then they will have Steam sitting in here. Well, for me, that's not the case. Mine's in my E drive. So if I go to my E drive, Steam, Steam apps, and then source mods. See this folder right here? This, this nice looking folder. You might have it, you might not. If you don't have it, you're going to make one and name it source mods, and then you're going to enter it. Now that you've entered this directory, oh fuck, give me a second, I'm breaking shit here. What you're going to do now is you're going to right click, go to new, and then make a new folder. And then pray to God that it lets you make a new folder, which it looks like it's not making a new folder for me. Or else it's hidden, hold up. Yeah, my folders are hidden for some reason. Properties, that was weird. Anyways, so we can delete this new folder here. And then we can rename this to open underscore fortress enter let me refresh the directory because shit's being weird once you have created this folder you're going to right click on it and then after you've installed tortoise svn you're going to see this svn checkout what you're going to do is you're going to click on it it'll bring up a window now this is where you will put this link in right here Alright, so you're going to copy this link right here, and then what you're going to do is you're going to paste it in, right there. So, for me though, I'm not going to use that one, I'm going to use my mirror. Uh, here it is. This is my mirror that I host for the community, since the official one's not, it's not working out too well right now. So all you're going to do is you're going to make sure you have omit externals checkmarked as it shows right here. And then once you do that, all you're going to do is make sure this is correct here. So Steam, Steam, not Steam library, Steam, Steam apps, source mods, open underscore fortress. And then you click OK. And then you will see this happen right here, right? This is, this is good. This is what you want. So we will be right back once this is finished downloading. Oh, well, now the download is done. As you can see, let me scroll all the way down because I clicked the button. And boom. Oh, fuck you. 10.32, this is the revision that it's at. At, at the time, uh, as this was paused, they pushed out another revision. So I'm actually going to teach you guys, after I teach everything else, I'll show you guys how to relocate and then update. So now that you have that done, there's two other things you want to make sure you have installed, which you should have done first, but you don't have to. Windows is being, uh, Windows is the Source SDK based 2013 multiplayer and Team Fortress 2. They're both free and you should be able to install them as long as you have enough hard drive space. But once you have everything installed, so Open Fortress is done right, we're done with Open Fortress. Next thing you do is you're going to right click, you're going to exit. That icon that I showed you right there, you're going to right click and you're going to exit. And then you're going to restart Steam. That's what most of the time the devs are talking about when they say restart Steam. 
is that you do that. Alright. And now you see I'm logging back into Steam. Alright, as long as everything has been done correctly, I type in the words Open Fortress, and there it is. Ready to go, ready for me to play. And that's it. You're done. You have installed Open Fortress. Congratulations. Now, I'm going to teach you how to relocate as well as update. So, the first things first, put up this folder, and you can see everything's green, right? We're going to go back to here. We're going to right click on this folder, go to Tortoise SVN, and we're going to go to relocate. If I can find it, we're going to go to relocate right here. You're going to click it, and then now. Say, for example, my mirror doesn't work, or this link here doesn't work, the official repository. You're going to go here, you're going to click, copy that, and you're going to paste it into this to URL. You click OK, and it should relocate. Boom, now you're done. That's it, you've relocated. Now, when you want to update, all you have to do is cancel that, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Cancel. You're going to right click, and you're going to go to SVN Update. And what it's going to do, is it's going to connect to the official repository, whichever one that you just switched to. It's going to connect to it. And then it's going to pull any files that you might need. So all relocating does is it changes to a different URL, to a different repository. And what a repository is, is the thing that holds all the files. But if you need to relocate, that's what you do. So say you run into a problem. I'm going to relocate back now because my other URL was... A lot quicker. Uh, fuck, really. CPS colon. Yeah, so I should open underscore fortress. Alright, cool. So let's say you run into an error where it tells you you need to clean up. It'll say, like, you need to run a cleanup because you screwed up and it's locked right now. So what you do is you right click on the same folder, you go to Tortoise SBN, and you do clean up. For this game, you have everything checked besides the bottom three, and you click OK. And what it does is it cleans up the directory, fixes what it needs to fix, and that's it. And you should be continue, you should be able to continue on your way. I think that's going to about cover it for this. It's pretty simple. You have your game now. Anything else that might be bug related, you can use the official Discord, which is right here, and I will link it in the description. And you can go to either Windows Troubleshooting or Linux Troubleshooting. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed.